this is the circuit. Uh, let us see the connections of this J K flip flop, which is available in the form of an IC here. It has two inputs J and K, driven by the clock, mm -hmm. uh, and two inputs called set and reset. They are asynchronous. So first, uh, let me just show you only J K flip flop without that. This is with the clear input set to one. This is set input set to one. So before we go to that circuit, let us try to understand the basic J K flip flop first. So now the property here says, uh, let us see, both of them are zero and zero. Switch it on. So this is a present condition. Q is zero. Q is equal to one. To this, suppose I give this as one. It is not changing its state. If it is one, both are one one. Then you can see that it is flickering. That means it is toggling Q to Q bar, Q bar to Q, depending on this frequency. Uh, so let me change this frequency to let us say one thousand hertz. That's one kilohertz, and see the speed has been increased. Now let's reduce it to uh, 50 hertz and see the speed with which it is flickering. So this is this concept that is used in the construction of binary counters. So now if j is 0, what happens? If j is 0, q is 0, q bar is 1. There is no change of state. Suppose this is 1 and this is 0. It's coming like this, right? So two, that means q is 1, q bar is 0. I made both of them 0. q being 1 is remaining in the same state. There is no change. That means the information that was uh, loaded into the JK block prior to giving this gets blocked. This is how we are storing this information. Unless there is a change, unless a new clock is applied, this content will remain the same. So even if you change this to, let us say, this to 1, then the, when next clock comes, this will change. And when both are 1, you can see that this is working. So this is about uh, basic JK flip flop. Then let's use JK with a preset. So as you can see, this is set to 1. When it is set to 1, what happens is that this is asynchronous to the clock. What it means is, irrespective of what the clock transition is, this since this is set to 1, it will remain as 1. Let me show you. Right? Suppose, uh, okay. I make this as 0, this as 1. No change. Right. This is suppose I make this as zero. Because it's already set to one, so it becomes this. No change. It's not changing. Suppose this had been set to zero. And this is one. To apply to see any changes, you must switch off the simulation and check it once again. This is 0, right? So since this is 1, q bar is 1. Okay. 0, 0. It remains in the same state. This is 1. It is shifted. So information from the input is reaching the output because preset was set to 0. What happens when this is set to 1? When this is set to 1, I suppose... This was 0, this was 1. It should change its state. It is not changing its state. Toggling also is not happening. You are not making any changes here on the input to reach the output. When will this happen? If this is disabled and if this is 1, let us see what happens. 
Okay? See? After these five cycles are over, only it is changing. Now, suppose I take this as one. The flickering is happening. This is zero. See, it is changed. So the input is reaching if it is not set to one. That is preset. Uh, then let me show you this, a clear one. So, you must stop this simulation, then only you will be able to see the changes. Ah, now, suppose this is set to 1, 1, 1, it is not changing. Whatever is the state, it remains in the same state. Not changing. Right? Suppose this is 0. If this is 0, it's what's happening? This is 1, so this is 1. 0, 0, it is remaining in the same state. This is clear. clear. This is clear. Clear should be 0. Preset should be 1. Clear means it should be 0. If this is 0, that means this is activated. Set is activated only when it is 1. So if it is